What's going on guys, Nick Ehrlich here with the Lean Life Revolution and today we are talking about cardio training versus high intensity interval training or HIIT training. So a lot of people talk about the benefits of HIIT training and I think HIIT training is great when you're trying to burn a lot of body fat and preserve or create new lean muscle tissue. But that being said, there's still a place for steady state cardio in your training program. So if you're someone who has time in the mornings and you can get some steady state cardio in, Maybe this is taking a walk, taking a jog, going to the gym and riding the elliptical for 30, 40 minutes. That's a great way to burn body fat because your body is in a state where it's in an incredible fat burning zone. You're waking up, you've been asleep all night, your body's been processing that food you ate the day before. So your body's kind of already at a deficit and therefore it's going to be more predisposed to burn body fat in an early morning fasted session. And those are best for cardiovascular training. Again, long steady state cardio where you're pushing yourself but you're not going to a 10 on the perceived exertion scale. You're kind of cruising at a six or seven. You know, full disclosure, I like to do my steady state cardio while I'm on the elliptical, while I watch something on my phone. So whatever was on TV the night before, I have my cardio distraction box on my cell phone. So I have my HBO, my Hulu, my Netflix in there. I'll usually zone out, watch something for 40 minutes, get a good sweat, get my heart rate up a little bit, but mostly just kind of chill and get some steady state cardio in. Now, on the other side of that coin, high intensity interval training is going to be redlining your system and then recovering and doing that over and over again. So maybe that's doing treadmill sprints, doing sprints on a field, um, doing things like burpees and burnout sets. That's high intensity interval stuff. A lot of Tabata circuitry falls into this category. And for those types of things, not only are you going to be pushing yourself a ton harder, you're not going to be able to work for as long as you would during a steady state cardio session and you're potentially going to be creating a little bit of tissue damage during those sessions. So you're going to want to fuel for these workouts and then refuel the same way you would for a resistance training workout or a lifting workout. So with HIIT training, I like to have this in the afternoon. And one of the ways that I love using HIIT training is right after my lifting sessions. So maybe I finish my workout sessions with four 200 meter sprints on a rowing machine, or maybe I finish it with 10 minutes of 30 seconds on, 30 seconds off at a treadmill sprint. But I like to finish my workouts with a quick hit session to redline my system, burn some body fat, and really just finish up my workout in a strong suit. And then right after that, I can hit a good refuel with some simple proteins, some simple carbohydrates, and start rebuilding really easily. Whereas with that steady state cardio, you don't necessarily need to fuel up beforehand, and you don't need to do a ton of repairing afterwards because it's more just easy, steady fat burning. I also like it if I feel really sore, it helps me flush out my muscles and feel a lot better. So when you're making the decision between cardio training versus HIIT training, think about your cardio training, your straight steady state cardio being first thing in the morning um, when you don't have anything in your system, you're fast and you're ready to just get an easy sweat and do some fat burning, and then keep your HIIT training for later in the day when you have a couple meals in you, and right after your resistance training sessions are where I love to get those HIIT sessions in. So hopefully that clears up some of this and you can decide when to throw your cardio sessions in and when to do some high intensity work. Let me know if this helps. Let me know if you have any questions. Thanks for joining the revolution. We'll see you right back here.